Moving on to the Siren de Giscourt, the Siren uh, of Giscourt. So this is the estate second label, um, so which means that all the top uh, batches, all the top wines, the top plots, uh, the top wines in a given vintage go in the first wine and then what's left, what's a little bit under the top level for the vintage uh, gets assembled in the Sirene de Giscourt. So supposedly you still get a sense of the vintage, you still get a Margot wine, uh, you still get the style of the estate but you pay a fraction uh, of the price. This retails at around $40, $50 in the US while the first wine will retail around $90 to $100 sometimes more dollars uh, depending on the vintage. So in many good vintages, uh, second labels of Grand Cru Class A of Top Estates are really, really good buys. Let's see if that's the case here. We've got two 2014 and 2015 vintage here. So two excellent, excellent uh, vintages in Bordeaux. So see if the wines um, tell us the same story. The Mermaid of Giscourt is the emblem uh, of, of the chateau um, and that's why the second label is called this way. So most definitely this is much much deeper, there's a lot more dark coffee, clove, deep notes uh, on the nose. We're talking more blackberry, slightly jammy, blueberry, dark cherry, so deeper, more serious, you can sniffing it. You can sense that oof, there is more wine or there seems to be a lot more wine behind the nose. Definitely much greater body. body. Tannins are much finer. There's more tannins. They're not super, super fine and silky, but they are velvety. A little bit edgy at this stage. Now, this is a relatively young wine, 2014. This is a wine built to age for 10, 15, possibly 20 years. It's silky, it's full bodied, it is still dry. Loads and lots of complexity and length. Uh, there's a lot of tension, it's balanced, the mid body, the, the, the finish are all concentrated, they're all focused. The elegance of Margot, fruit is fine, is expressed with delicatesse, with finesse, with elegance. Um, but there is a certain punch of ripe fruit, uh, influence of oak, but it's discreet, it's well integrated. This is a wine for me around the 90 plus 91 points for 40, 50 dollars. It's a fairly, fairly good wine. You get the Margo name, the Margo appellation, uh, and you get a sense of what a Margo wine is without spending all the bucks. So 2015 Sirene de Giscourt, color seems straight away darker, uh, more impressive uh, to look at. It's a younger wine too, so it's a little bit more purple. The nose is also deep, uh, very, very jammier. Uh, the fruit seems to be riper here. Certainly even more body. This is a much silkier wine than 2014. I get a sense of a more silky um, texture to it. The 2014 was more velvety, a little bit edgy. This is silky. It seems there's more Merlot perhaps. Uh, if you know Merlot, there's more cherry flavors, more round the body, flattering uh, body. So it's a more approachable, um, and more flattering wine uh, straight away but you get a bit less acidity a bit less of the tension the typical Cabernet Sauvignon from the Medoc uh, tension that you get to this 2014 I would rate this a 91 out of a hundred points so because I like it slightly better the tannins are a bit denser uh, for me and for drinking now 2015 is for me a, a slightly better wine uh, but for storing to get a real feel of 
the Medoc and the Margot 2014 is possibly uh, the one to go for, but you'd, you'd have to store that one for three or four years while you can definitely enjoy this one now. So, conclusion, Tian de Giscourt, for 40, 50 dollars, you know, you don't find that many good Margot wines uh, for that price. If you find good vintages um, of Sirene de Giscourt, like 2014 and 2015, these are definitely wines uh, that I can recommend. Uh, if you're looking for a more approachable wine to drink now or within two years, definitely go for 2015. If you're looking for a wine that will age uh, for a bit longer, a bit more punchy and characterful, uh, 2014 uh, will be the one to go for. I will be tasting and reviewing vintage 2015, 2011 and 2012 of the top Chateau Giscourt Grand Cru Classé Margot wine coming up very soon on YouTube. I will see you soon in the wine world.